Hi, beautiful souls. I'm Brooke. I am an intuitive Reiki master. I'm also a channel for the divine. Welcome back. Let's see who's going next. Cancers. Cancers. Love it. Let's see what's going on with Cancers this week. How's everybody feeling after the Libra full moon? Hope it was as beautiful for you as it was for me. It was such a gentle, loving release. You know, all the moons have been pretty intense over the last few months. And this one was pleasantly lovely, loving. So, let's see what's going on with cancer. Don't let your past hold you back. Okay. A new romantic cycle begins. Mm. It's time to release negativity. Okay, this card's been showing up in just about all of them. So definitely, this is what's releasing with this Libra uh, 1, 2, 3. Things are moving forward in divine order. That's what's really being released with this Libra um, full moon, releasing any negativity that could be holding you back. That could be what's actually holding you back. What are some negative things that you tell yourself? What are some negative things that you say? 144 on my card. That you say about yourself, right? Are you practicing um, gratitude enough? Take time to breathe out. Really staying in that throat chakra, keeping that throat chakra open. Really busting through those fears. Living in your heart space, keeping your third eye open. Let's see if I can get more of what's going on. I'm all out here. Come on. Mm. Okay, so what's holding this up? It's gonna be the ace of pentacles, okay? And the star card. So, it's definitely been a lot of healing that's going to be going on over the next year. There's been a lot of healing over the last year. Okay? There could be a new healing uh, partner that's going to be coming in. Okay? Kind of feels like you've had to, to possibly go through... Um, some balancing of karma, I want to say. And I say karma because the devil's showing up, okay? And it's showing up right under Libra. So, don't let your past hold you back. So, I get, and I'm going to read this straight down, okay? I get the King of Cups. Eight of Pentacles. And then I get lovers okay and you know really feels like there's been a lot of work put into love right and then move now really feeling like this is all I have left really all that's broken Really taking it to the next level, being able to see it from a higher perspective and seeing, you know, what was really truly going on behind the scenes, right? Bang, and my phone goes off. 444, four, four, okay? Moving into the fears that need to be let go of, fears of this, okay? This past situation that really broke you, that left you... Um, 
feeling depleted, really feeling depleted because you're really putting in the love, putting in the energy, you're being, you're building your, your foundations, you're building your pentacles, you're building yourself up, right? For that ultimate love story, this is the ultimate wish granted card. This is getting everything in the 3D that you want with a divine counterpart. Okay? It's definitely going to be a new healing relationship coming in. King and queen, respective, like, in the 3D. But you've got to let go. Five, five, five. You've got to let go of that past karma, past hurt from karmics, okay? Because what's trying to come in is going to be something destined, passionate, balanced, whole and complete, okay? This is everything that you've asked for, everything on the list, okay? Could be a fire sign, could be a... Libra could be a Cancer. Okay, this is what's trying to come in. This is what you've asked for. Okay, releasing that karmic situation, letting all that pain go, and really honing in that Queen of Pentacles energy. You know, the Queen of Pentacles to me is is right there with the Empress and the Nine, Nine of Pentacles, right? Really knowing your self-value, knowing your self-worth, okay? Because the High Priestess knows her value. The High Priestess knows, okay? Letting that pain go, it's not worth holding on to it, really balancing that because a new romantic cycle is coming in and it's very balanced. Okay, let's see what's going on uh, with past lives here. Okay, definitely moving in the right direction. Okay, more grounded, stable. Okay, definitely connected to uh, father energy. There could be a connection um, with this person and your father. Okay, unrequited love. Oh, and there's going to be so much wisdom shared between this. I mean, this to me is divine counterparts. In the 3D. So release what else, what's not serving you to your greatest good and highest joy. Let it go. Let it flow. Because that's what's holding you back. To be able to launch you forward. To move towards something that's going to be more grounded. There's definitely a connection to the Father. Ooh, I got chills all over me. Hmm. Alright, guys. Um... I hope you all have a wonderful week, Cancer. Um, if this reading resonated with you and you'd like for me to dive in deeper, my website's below. I love you guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye.